There is a move over law in North Carolina to protect people broken down or working on the side of the road. Often first responders are teetering on the line of danger when they respond to your emergency. Yeah, yesterday morning, four people, including Greensboro firefighters, had a really close call on Interstate 85 when a tractor trailer slammed into the back of fire engine 61 as the fire crew worked a crash. Fox 8's Madison Forsey live near Interstate 40 tonight. Madison, I understand firefighters' foresight saved lives in this case. Yeah, I was actually one of the more senior members on that crew who's about to retire at the end of the month. He's the one that saw the tractor trailer coming towards that situation and screamed and yelled at everyone else to get out of the way. But firefighters beyond that crew and in the Greensboro Fire Department in general worry the situations like that are becoming too common, especially as more people driving for the holidays hitting highways like this one. They want to remind everyone to slow down and move over because it's the law. If you did a poll nationwide, every firefighter in this country is going to tell you that the interstate highway system is the worst place for us to go. This is why. In my career, I can think of, of several very close near misses. That's something that always weighs in on your mind because you, you're always worried about your crew. Each time the Greensboro Fire Department is called to respond on the highway, they're inches away from danger. We were just heard the squealing tires and you hear the car hit the Jersey wall and the which car ended up landing into our truck. Kind of look like something out of a movie. You see the car banking up over their shoulders. Matthew Patterson and his crew responded to a wreck along Interstate 840 in August. A driver heading toward the crash lost control and landed between their fire truck and a concrete wall. This is the damage to the fire truck, which remains out of service four months later. The damage starts here and you can see there's significant damage to the paint. Monday's crash put a second truck, engine 61, in the garage, meaning a reserve engine has to respond when you need one. All of this was shifted forward. These two doors were completely ripped off. The damage is so bad, engine 61 might have to go back to the manufacturer. You're looking at probably a year turnaround, easy. A year? A year. We might not get this engine back until December 2023. Very, very possibly. Firefighters are asking drivers to think about the dangers they put their lives in and first responders when they don't move over. If you don't pay attention, you could be the next accident either at that one or up the road. There has been a push to add blue lights to fire trucks. Advocates believe they get the attention of drivers and they're easier to see because they're similar to police lights. There is a bill that could make that law sitting in the Rules Committee of the General Assembly. In Greensboro, Madison 4C, Fox 8 News.